Has Anael been doing anything since we restored it? Find anything. Let's start by traveling to the cave bridge control point. In this room you will find eight blocks scattered around. Some of them will be on top of the bridges, inside of one of the caves. One of them will be outside the entrance to this cave. Now these eight blocks correspond to eight squares on the excavation grid that is on the ground. In order to spawn the hidden cat you need to place all eight of these blocks into specific squares in the excavation grid. You will know where to place the blocks because each square has tiny little cat footprints in it. Place all eight blocks into the eight squares with cat prints and you will spawn the first cat. For the second cat, we will spawn at the warehouse control point. From the control point, make your way to the elevator and go to the basement floor. You will have had to unlock the basement floor previously in order to get this cat. Unlocking the basement floor is very easy. All you have to do is find the five ID cards left around the warehouse area. And once you find them, you will be granted access. As you reach the basement, on the very back wall there will be a water pipe with a valve that you can select. Select the valve and this will turn the water on to the shower above. Make your way to the building with the emergency shower, turn it on, and the second cat will spawn behind you. For the third cat, we will be staying in the warehouse. Make your way to the elevator, and we want to go all the way to the top. In between floors five and six, four hiss nodes will spawn. You need to melee all four hiss nodes in order for the cat to spawn at the top of the tower. The nodes will spawn clockwise if you are facing the gate. For cat number four, we will start at the astral collision control point. From the control point, jump down onto the bottom platform, and you will be able to find one of the golden cubes. You'll also be able to find the case file for the Mineki Neko procedure. Directly across from the cubes, you will find two bathroom stalls. One of the stalls contains an ability point and a box, so jump over there and check it out. Launch the golden cube through the other bathroom stall and then make your way back to the access point.
From there, we're going to travel to the Collapse Department. And from there to data entry and filing, battling through a bunch of hiss. Until we find another bathroom that's been affected by the astral plane. Pick up the gold cube, jump over here, throw it into its receptacle, and you'll spawn the next cat. For cat number five, all we have to do is go to the collapse department, kill a bunch of hiss, break a few walls, and you're there. For cat number six, we'll travel to the Astral Tower PW control point. Now from here straight ahead, we can see a platform that has a crystal floor in the center of it. And off to the left, there's another smaller crystal platform. In the center, after we destroy the crystals, there will be a golden cube inside of that hole. On the very left, after we destroy those crystals, the receptacle for that golden cube will be found there. Once we destroy the hiss, we can put the cube into the receptacle. It will spawn a small platform off onto the right. And once you jump onto that platform, it will spawn cat number six. For cat number seven, you have to go back to the place that I don't think anybody wants to go, and that's the chasm. Start by traveling to the cave system control point, make your way to the chasm, and as you get to the mouth of the chasm, you will need to pick up this flashlight. And with flashlight and telekinetic hand, make your way down past the first gorge that you have to jump over. and into the first section with the hiss. Destroy the hiss, and then we can start trying to find the cat. After def
repeating the hiss and before you move on to the next section, if you take a look to the left, you will notice a small cave opening with some rubble blocking it. Remove the rubble from this small cave opening, enter inside, and that is where you will find cat number seven. For the eighth and final cat, you will want to beat the transit access control point. From the control point, make yourself west through transit access, go across the bridge, through the tunnels, fighting or avoiding hiss as you like. You'll find yourself out on a very high platform overlooking the nail. From this platform, you're going to want to do a little bit of platforming, jumping over to the leftmost platform that you can see. And you'll jump platform to platform until you make it to a platform that has a cardboard box. And this cardboard box contains the final lucky cat. So after collecting all eight of the cats, we are going to head to the collapse department control point, head through the giant doors, and we are going to float all the way over to the leftmost bridge. And from here you can pass through the doors and receive your reward. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Steve with the Freelancer Codex. Please like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what your favorite part about the DLC was. Until next time.